topic here, very, this is going to cause probably a lot of controversy. Terrorism. So terrorism, in the broader sense, is the use of intentional violence and fear to achieve political or ideological aims. That's the dictionary term of it. The term is used pro, uh, primarily to refer to inter intentional violence during peacetime or in the context of war against non-combatants, civilizations, or neutral military personnel. The word actually terrorist and terrorism originally originated during the French Revolution and then it's been widely used internationally and gained wide, wide, worldwide attention in the 1970s during the Troubles in Northern Ireland, the Basque Conflict in Spain and the Israeli-Palestinian Conflict. The increased use of suicide attacks from the 1980s onwards was typified by the 2001 September 11 attacks in the United States. So there's also varied definitions of terrorism with no universal agreement about it. Terrorism is a charged term. It also is the connotation that something is wrong. Governments and non-state groups use the term to abuse or denounce opposing groups. And different terrorisms, they include left wing, right wing, political organisations, nationalist groups like we call um, racists in the UK, which is the National Front, BNP. We have religious groups, which are people who believe that everybody should be Islam, everybody should be Jews, everybody should be... Christians, everybody should be Hindus, everybody should be Muslims. Again, it, it goes on and on. Revolutionaries as well. So revolutionaries could also be seen as people who believe that we should st just stop oil, could be an example. BLM could be seen as revolutionaries. And then ruling government, which is under dictatorship, could also be a form of terror because they cause terror and fear on their own people. State terrorism is perpetuated by national states. It's not considered such for the sake of conducting it making legality a grey area, and terrorism should be regarded as a war crime. Again, it depends what the war is about, is it more an ideology? And then separating activism and terrorism can be difficult and is described as a fine line. So, due to the word terrorism was actually created from the French Revolution, ancient philosophers wrote about uh, tyrannicide, not tyrannosaurus, tyrannicide, as tyranny. Tyranny was the idea of tyranny was against the ideology of the ruling empire. And this was actually the greatest political threat to the Greco-Roman civilization. When we look at terrorism, and we look at it from many different ideals, the idea of terrorism itself was used to describe the actions of many people of the reign of terror in the French Revolution. However, what we have to be careful with is the idea of terrorism is, the actual idea of terrorism is it more of the following features. It's an effect of extreme fear. So creating fear through the media, through actions, is a form of terrorism. Um, whether it's targeted the state from within, its strategic goals, its random or indiscriminate nature, who it targets, and whether it was planned and prepared in secret. So this is the issue we have with terrorism, is people see that one people who obviously decide to attack someone, they're seen as terrorists. But some, when someone retaliates, they're not seen as causing fear to the people who, who are being protected by terrorists. That's not terrorism. See, this is where I don't like the idea of terrorism because I think, to be honest, when you create fear in people, that is a form of creating terror. It's a form of control. So from the spiritual concept, terrorism, I think, is the use. And this is my version of what terrorism, I think, is. Terrorism is creating a fear in a population through manipulation and the use of media and propaganda creating fear. And I do believe this was used in many ways with the media where they decided they wanted to talk about terrorism in many different angles. And I feel the worst thing of terrorism is when they try and indoctrinate or try and put fear into you that if you don't do something, you are not human or they make out that you are not doing the right thing. And I actually believe, and this is my own opinion from a spiritual concept, is that when you actually have a choice, the idea is human beings should have a choice and we should never be forced in a choice due to fear or the impact of propaganda. And it's one of the reasons where I believe that the idea of use of terrorism, of creating fear, was used into how people were vaccinated for COVID because they used the idea of, oh, well, if you don't get the vaccination, you could get COVID and you could die. 
And if you don't do this, you cause problems to other people. You are being selfish. We're actually creating this te terror and propaganda was that people have an individual choice. The idea of, we, we talk about free will, and the idea of free will is that that's one thing that no spiritual people should ever do. One of the things I find very interesting is that a lot of clients, especially when they, I used to do tarot reading and so forth, they'd like to say to me, I want my soulmate, I, and, and I want them to be my partner, and they, I know they're married, but I, they should be with me. And it's the idea they want you to use spells or manipulation. And, and I always found that really interesting because to me that's creating terror and fear it's like that to me is that's unhinged behavior. And so my idea of this is that we all have free will. And the idea is that we should all have a choice of what we do. And if we're not given that choice or we're forced to do something, when people say that is, you know, the idea of mandatory is an interesting term. Mandatory. Mandatory is not compulsory. It's a very different word. So the idea of people then saying, if you don't do this, you won't be able to travel. That actually was a form of dictatorship, which was a form of terrorism. So it's basically that if you don't do this, you can't have a normal life. Well, that that is exactly what dictators do. They say, if you don't do this in a, in a dictatorship like North Korea, if you don't do this, or in Afghanistan with the Taliban, you don't do this, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's a very similar way. And I feel that democracy uses actually a lot of dictator they actually mix into dictatorship when they need to when they want to when they think they're losing power or they're losing um actual gaining support from the actual local people so the idea is as well as terrorism i think is used in governments and i think it's used in politics a lot And I don't think, I think of the idea of some terrorist, just someone who is going to have a suicide bomb or going to kill a load of people or massacre people. I think actual governments are terrorists themselves because they create terror and fear when they want to create distrust and conflict within the country so that they are fighting with on themselves instead of actually seeing the bad job they are doing. And I notice this in America, you know, if you don't support Biden, then you are racist because you must be a Republican. In England, if you are if you believe in conservatives, you believe in anti-immigration, you believe in this, and then you should support Labour because they're for the working class. Well, no, the Labour aren't for the working class because Labour don't even have many working class people in their government, and they don't care about the working class. In the end, it all boils down to money, and the idea of any country or any government or any people is that the idea is what people want to be able to do is they want to be able to live a life where they can within the laws is they want to be able to be able to eat they want to be able to drink enjoy themselves have um, escapism they want to be able to pay a mortgage they should be able to pay electricity and not worry about that they can't afford it you know that you're hearing about people who are committing suicide you're hearing about people who are actually having to give up animals because they can't look after them or giving up children because they can't look after them and that fear has been created by this idea of terror the idea of when people say the living crisis and things going up, it's, it's perpetuated by the media. It's a form of fear. And, you know, if you think about it, people must have struggled in, uh, in the Second World War, people on rations, but, you know, they create fear that, you know, if we don't defeat the Germans in, in World War Two, you know, you will be taken over by Nazism. We don't know that. We never actually knew that because Nazis were defeated. So it's all this idea is that the propaganda, I think, is worse now than it ever has been because back then people were uneducated. So you would understand if people would be fearful of what was going on. But now we're educated. People have got more access to reading, more access to information, and still people blindly believe that a government is going to change your life. It doesn't. They are only interested in themselves. And it actually, as, as someone who's a spiritual person, I actually don't believe in voting. I think everything's fixed. I don't believe that my one vote is going to change anything because I guarantee you this, whoever you vote for in government, whoever you vote for in your local politics, if you vote for someone to win a reality TV show or whatever it is, it's all been fixed. It's all been fixed. It's been done to manipulate people and push people and people will show the good and bad of people how they feel they want to manipulate you. So for your own free will, 
Go about your own life and don't be living in, in fear. And this idea of terrorism, I think, is actually that people are now being undermined by terrorism, by fearful actions which are controlled by their governments. That to me is what terrorism is. Again, maybe controversial because the idea of people think of terrorism is someone who goes and slaughters people or so forth. But terrorism is created by many people. It's created by your boss that if you don't do your job properly that you'll get sacked. If terrorism is created by teachers. Oh, well, if you don't do this, you don't get your GCSEs or you don't get your A-levels or you don't get your degree, you'll never make a life for yourself. There are many people who have made lives of themselves who have actually who failed at school. This fear is created by your family. Oh, if you don't do this, or you don't have enough money, or you're going to be chucked out, you don't have this, you don't have that. It's not on. We shouldn't be fearful. We should be fearless. And we should understand that what we should be trying to do is get to a form of, you know, utopia is difficult, but we should be looking at this idea of not being fearful. Again, only my opinion, but it's important. <laughs>